Hello, everybody. I'm your friend neighborhood Let's Player Spiderwah, and I welcome you to another C64 Medley. As you can see, we're gonna start with this uh, little thingamajig called Moon Dust. I played this a little bit back in the day, and I'm sure that I still have no idea what this is all about. Because, well, as you can see, those are drawing the, uh, the letters there. And, uh, well, yeah, as you can see, it's a really... I should put a warning here that I, this might induce some uh, very trippy images and, uh, and um, epilepsy warning, perhaps, I guess. But still, you are this uh, uh, guy. As you can see, the white dude, that's you. I really don't know what I'm supposed to do with this thing. I, I, when I was a kid, I tried to play this. Oh, 79 points, okay. I mean, I, I, I do kind of know what the controls are, but I'm, ow, 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 stop hitting me, or something. I don't, I don't, I really have no idea what I'm supposed to do. I've always been, bullseye! I guess it's, I need to hit that target in the middle without being hit by these guys too much. But, uh, in reality, I just have no freaking idea what this game is all about, really. No, oh, stop, 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 stop it, stop bouncing around so much. Jeez. I've lost control! I really have no idea, the controls are weird. That's all I can really say. Bonus seed. Do I have to get the green one now or something to get some bonus? No, ow, ow, ow. Well, that went to bullseye. I don't know if they're killing me or just uh, hurting me in general. Seriously, this is one weird game. Okay, I guess I, because I got the bullseye, I got to the next level. Let's start spreading this. Come on. Nope. Oh. Oh. Green. Get it there. I think I started starting to now understand what this is all about. It's a really weird game still. Only 90 points, I got 93 earlier. What did I do wrong? I don't know. This is a very trippy game, I have to say that. I'm not sure if I wanted to play this when I'm this tired. It's not hurting my head or anything, but it just feels so weird. Okay, you... No, you, you go. Grab, grab it. Grab the seed. Grab, grab it. Yeah, that's... that's a, don't stop rolling around. No. Up. There we go. No. Almost. Almost had it. Almost had it. A little more. There we go. This makes no freaking sense. Senseless game. Really weird. I mean, seriously, you just fly around with the bullets or something and try to get to the bullseye. I wonder how many limits there are. I really don't know. I don't know how long the game is. Well, I got it right away. Get in there. Get it into the middle. Into the middle. Got it. 
favorite game. I don't think I'm gonna play this anymore if it goes to the next level. Well, if it goes to the next level without stopping, I'm gonna call it quits and go into the next game. Because I don't want these videos to be too long. Because they're just medleys. Not full let's plays of these. Because I seriously do you just wanna see 500 levels of this? I doubt it. I know I wanna. Yeah, I just want to the next level. Well, uh, since uh, I said I would stop here, I'm gonna stop here. And then we will go on to the next game. Whatever it shall be. Trippy. Seriously. And here we have Crisis Mountain. I played this quite a bit too back in the day, but uh, this game is difficult. One reason being that another game that I had no idea what to do. It's some, it's a sort of a platformer where you have to stop uh, bombs from exploding so the volcano or mountain doesn't explode or something. Something like that. Begin level one. Those are all items that you need to collect. That blue item down there is supposed to be the shovel? So you can dig some things? I, I, I really don't know. You have to. I guess you have to dig on these. But like I said, this game is uh, not just weird, it's difficult. At least I've never been able to play it completely. Completely throw or anything. That was close. Okay, that's rolling in here. And as you can see, they're all on timers, so you have to do this really fast. Sorry for being quiet there for a moment. And those can bounce over those lava pits or whatever they really are. Uh, we're safe for now. We'll see how well I will really do here. I got the shovel now. Still gonna get that last item before I go try to. Hmm. It reminds me a little bit of Donkey Kong, the old arcade game. Since you're jumping over rocks and stuff. Oh, great. I have to go back and get that shovel. Hey, no, no, no! I guess collecting all those items that I did get gives me extra heads or something. I don't know why he's crawling. I guess because he got hit, he's slower for some reason for a while. I do not understand the mechanics of this game, seriously. Oh, brother. Will you stop coming here? I'm trying to save this place. Stupid boulders. Didn't expect that. I'm slow as hell. I'm gonna get that item, whatever it is, up here before going for the shovel. Well, that didn't seem to give me anything except one more extra hit. That was close. Sure enough, good. I'm running out of time. Yeah, I know. I'm running out of time. I always do. There's the shovel. That eh, was too close. Oh, don't drop down. I want to go up here. It's gonna blow up. Boom. 
Commodore 64, boom. Just shake the uh, thing around. <sighs> well, you get the gif of it. I got a lot more time for it. And the uh, shovel is closer. I'm gonna still try go for the shovel. Get it as fast as I can. Seriously. I'll s mm. Oh yeah, he turns into an angel, an angel when he dies like that. Let's try this one more time just to see what happens. Because I've never been able to dig those bombs in any way. We'll see what happens if I actually manage to dig in them a little bit. Safe. Okay, so that was happen that's what happens. <laughs> She's She's Louise. Come on, jump. Will you stop coming from up there, please? You're killing me. Like little I told you this game is hard. Extremely difficult. Screw you, game. Screw you. End of game. Well, enough of enough. Enough of crisis mode in any way. Thanks for the music there. So that was Crisis Mountain. Too bad I didn't get to get both of the bombs. But I said this game is difficult. I've never been able to do anything better. But since that's over with, let us continue and on to the next game. And here we have actually a Finnish game. Hammersoft presents is it that? Una turho puro muuta maalle, which is uh, which you can go una turho puro moves to the countryside. I guess that this is the place that I will find my message most uh, uh, the fastest and most surest. I guess you have noticed I have moved away. I won't tell you where. My lawyers will contact you later. That's what it said in Finnish up there. At least that's not as best as I could translate. Your ex-wife, Elizabeth. Uno Turhapuro was a uh, very uh, famous uh, Finnish... Uh, Comic char comedy character made by created by an actor called Vesa Mattiloiri, and he is uh, very popular back in the day. At least he used to be. There's like I think at least twelve movies of him, and they're all very clever, very clever comedies. Uno Turhapuro is a uh, a slouch of a husband. Who married uh, who married the daughter of a wealthy uh, a wealthy businessman and he doesn't do any work he's he's a really a lazy bum that's the whole idea behind he looks uh, really like a bum like he uh, like he would live on the street he has this raggedy trench coat a uh, net t-shirt that's also, and then it has bigger holes than it should. And he has like uh, leather shoes that has holes in them. And he, he really looks like a bomb. But he's not a stupid man. He's very clever. And he really knows how his way out of getting his way out of trouble and out of uh, uh, 
getting from under the hammer of his uh, father-in-law, who really hates him, has no idea why he, his daughter married this slouch of a man. But anyway, enough of the, the character itself. This game uh, is uh, kind of based on one of the movies, but not really. And uh, the thing about this game is that it's really difficult. The programmer, Pussy Gutenin. I mean, I mean, music by Yori Olkonen. 1986. It, it works really well, this game. I mean, it's fluent and everything, and the graphics are not bad. But it's really, really difficult. I never was able to get past the first level of this game, as, long, as much as I remember. Nobody really could get past the first level. You can see the demo here showing almost all of the levels that are in the game, pretty much. But this is as far as I could get to see them, really. But uh, we'll see how well I will do, because here we go. See what happens. So there's my health. I have four four lives. I got money, which in, in, is in the old uh, Finnish marks and not in euros because this is the 80s, of course. And Matkami's distance. I have to get that whole bar filled to get to the next level. So we'll see what, how it, how it goes. Just have to be careful not to hit anything. Fire button doesn't do much. And if I even hit a puddle, that'll kill me. Yeah, you die very easily in this. So you just have to be careful not to hit anything at all. Everything on that road that shows more than just the road is an obstacle. You must not hit. Puddle, rock, top of grass. Any one of these items will kill you. And as you can see, I it looked like I was getting past it, but apparently the hit detection tells me, nope, not getting past this. The music is not bad. I actually like this too. But like I said, this game yeah, blop, blop, the end. But I gathered apparently 60,000 finished marks. Which gives me access to uh, type my name. Uh, do I get to type my name at all in any way? That's stiff. I got seventh place at least. Yeah, the high score is not high, much higher than how far I got. Let's try this again. Because I really want to try to at least get further than I did. We'll see. Oh, the music's not too loud. Yes, it is. But anyway, that was close. Cool, so yep. Good. Puddles. Really don't have much time to react. Really, seriously. Why is this? Why is he so far away? I've tried to push him to the left, 
but it, it, it won't let me do anything. Seriously, it just won't let me do anything. There's so much space on the left. Why is he right in the middle of the whole place? And don't ask me what is what is it that he's pushing or what's pulling at because there's a big rope there. Just don't. I have no idea. That's the weirdest thing about this. Uh, it's supposed to be... Yeah. So yeah. Really difficult game, as you saw. There's just they just created it way too difficult. Not really a bad game. I, I guess. If they want it's just a uh, Wrong kind of programming, I can say. But anyway, that was another medley. I hope you enjoyed watching me do these uh, little games again. And uh, I will see you all wherever I will see you. It's kind of funny that I always say that I will see you all later when I don't really see you. I don't know why I said why I say that. <laughs> I guess it's just my shtick. So, anyway, I've been your friendly neighborhood Let's Play Spider Womp, and I hope you have a good evening, good afternoon, and a good morning, and I will see you all later. Take care, people. Bye.